So today I'm going to demonstrate pair programming from code.org. And code.org allows for pair programming. And what that is, is that you are supposed to be taking turns at the same computer for doing the work collaboratively. In order to do the pair programming, you actually have to be working from the same computer. The idea is that you are switching off with a specific partner to do the work. One of you is doing the work and the other one is helping out. And you switch back and forth between those two tasks. The one who's helping out is guiding the work and watching for errors. There's a video on how to do this. I will link to that as well. I'm going to show you how this works for the collaborations that we are doing on code.org. This is important for you to know so that all the members on your team all get credit for doing the work. You should pick one person as your lead person, someone who's going to be at the class the most, and all of you work from their login. Here are four students logged into the same course. I'm going to use this one right now. So we're going to do the variables investigate lesson from um, AP Computer Science Principles. And I'm going to go over here and select pair programming. Now, uh, this should be a PCSP test. Apparently, this Trish has been in other AP classrooms or other classrooms on code.org, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and select Trish and Trish and Trish, and I'll say add partners. So here you can see that I have the team. I've selected them. You can see that I'm Trish2 is the one that's logged in here. These are all the partners. If I go to each of the different people, I've done the pair programming for each of them as well. This one's Trish L. And all the other teammates are part of the pair programming. Uh, same thing for this one. Team, I've already done that option with them. Right? And then last but not least, this one, um, where I have Trish underscore and uh, all my teammates are there. OK, so what's interesting about this is if I go in and um, I do something with this, if one of my teammates that I'm pair partnering with has uh, done something in this particular thing, um, I can click here to see the view that we created. Unfortunately, I can't build on it unless I hit this remix button, but then it kind of takes me out of pair programming. So um, it's I recommend that you pretty much do this from one person's stuff. And then when you're all when you're done, then you can um, see the solution for yourself here. And. Uh, so that should help.